friends, and welcome to another episode of Picture This with Abby. Today, we're gonna talk about deleting unwanted files in your account and moving other ones into an album. One of the main traits of Forever is the ability to organize your memories. So that's a little bit of what we're gonna talk about today. As usual, head to forever.com and log into your account. Once you're there, you're gonna head to your library. You're gonna hover your mouse over any of the files that you don't want in your account anymore. Right now, I only have photos. A green check mark should appear. Click that. Once you've selected all your unwanted files, click delete, and you're going to click yes, move to delete bin. To create an album with the files you wish to keep, click albums on the blue navigation bar and then click add new album. Enter the album name and then choose who can see the album. The choices right now are public, private, and friends and family. We plan to add more in the future, but right now that's a good jumping off point. You have the option to add an album description and the date of the photos if you choose. Then click create new album. Now the last step is similar to the first step we did actually. You're going to hover over the photos in your library that you wish to select. Click the green check mark for all of them. Select Add to Album on the blue navigation bar, then click on your album to move your files. So now all of my handy dandy zoo photos are in one place. One more tip. Items that you've deleted will remain in your delete bin for 60 days. Your delete bin can be found by clicking on your profile picture. Scroll down, click Delete Bin, select any files you wish to recover, and click Restore to Library. Again, you can do this for 60 days after deleting the file. So now we've saved our memories and we've organized our memories. The next step is sharing, but we'll get to that later. For now, I'm Abby. Talk to you later.